I won't say about the infighting in the opposition, major opposition party, the PDP. It's safe to remind our brothers there that there's a fine line between stubbornness and stupidity as well as intensity and insanity. Politics is a game of rules, play by the rules. Uh, on Tuesday, I remember we took um, some major parties and how they fared at the governorship elections. We told you the APC won 15 states, PDP now nine states, mm -hmm. NNPP one state, the Labour Party one state. Um, quickly, let's go through um, Katina. Yeah. Yeah, Katina State. Katina, APC clearly bounced back from adversity when um, it was embarrassingly defeated by the PDP in the presidential election. Um, not many people saw that coming, actually, given the stature of Mr. President, mm. who went home, you know, to, oh, yeah. to vote and uh, mobilize for his party. But now, uh, the, the party has won the governorship um, race in the state, thanks to the efforts made by the governor, they bounce back, they change some of their strategies that were not working, and uh, they improved in the area of mobilization. That one week... Uh, Postponement. Yes, certainly helped, change not just in things. Lagos, but even in Casina, because they mm -hmm. needed to really reach out to aggrieved uh, people um, both within the party and without. And uh, Diko Rada, who used to head Smedan, okay. you know, okay. uh, is the governor-elect. Uh, the, the primaries of the party was very, very keen. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, it's really fitting because the man who headed the security printing and maintenance co uh, company was also part of the primary election. The second to the state government was also part of the wow. primary. So Diko Rada defeated a very strong field, you know, including a candidate that was backed by the owner of Max Air, wow. Dairu Mangal. You know, okay. the, the... It was like the godfather then. Yes, yeah. you know. Dairu Mangal was even um, PDP uh, Board of Trustees member for years. He was uh, like godfather to the late uh, Yaradua, uh, Umar Yaradua. So okay. he was backing one of the candidates, but Diko Rada still beat, emerged. Beat, Not beat. many people gave him a chance. Yeah. And in this governorship election, he has won again. So uh, it's, um, it shows that if you don't give up, you can still take the title. Because yeah. many uh, Kassina people actually thought that the PDP would take the states, but that has not happened. May you quickly take us to Nasarawa? Yes, you see, um, I told some people the other time that um, every election is local. In the terms of, the, during the presidential election, there are certain things that were in play, especially the Muslim Muslim ticket, mm. affected APC in Nasarawa. But when, when, when it becomes um, um, a local election, the, that kind of that, those kind of um, biases sentiments and all sentiments are not in play. Mm. So now it depends on now it depends on maybe that's why Labour Party didn't win more than one state. Yes, that's why Labour Party <laughs> didn't win more than one state because <laughs> if you look at if you look at um, the uh, electoral it you will see that they won mostly in Christian areas mm. and did not make any euros in Muslim areas. Mm. You understand? But when it comes to a governorship election, they won only in Abia. Mm. Whereas during the presidential election, they won mm. 11 states Never. and oh, their yeah. city. You understand? Because every election is local. There are differences. The, the, you don't, the kind of thing that made them to say, okay, this is the person we're going to go yeah. with is different. Yeah. You're now going to look at the local percentage, your ability to mobilize and all that. So I think that is what played a major part in it. Jide, Borno State was a fair accompli for oh, that's... the P uh, APC. Yes, yes, but in the presidential election, they had to struggle. Mm. They had to struggle and uh, they had to spend money. They had to spend money. Even some of the federal lawmakers spent much more than they could have uh, ordinarily 
uh, will have spent, you know. But in the, you know, in the governorship election, it's mm. a different ball game. Mm. It is Zulu on the ballot. Probably the, the, the most um, hardworking hard -working yeah. and yeah. most, most loved governor of his generation. Without a shadow of a doubt, mm. Zulu has shown that he is, he is special. The way he works, his love for the ordinary people, you know, the zeal with which he hardly rests. I wonder how the people work with him, cool, because today he's in Monguno, and tomorrow you can say, okay, we are going to, um, um, uh, what is it called? We are going to Kalabalge. You know? So he's that kind of person, and the people love him for that. Zulum can stand up and distribute 200 million naira cash. He will not, he will not uh, do it through, he will stand and make sure that he sees the person that is giving. Yeah, that money yeah. too. Maybe because of his own background, as somebody personable? you know from a, a poor uh, upbringing, a poor mm. background, had to had to drive taxi to pay his way through University of Ibadan. You know, so the people love him and the votes that they gave him. I think uh, the PDP candidate got just about fifteen percent of the vote. Yeah. He dominated that yeah. election, which was what we expected. In fact, I remember when I posted, some people were saying, "Ah, so somebody get mine to go the contest against Zulu." Say the person they crazy. Say the person they crazy. Huh? You know that you even had the mind to say you wanted to yeah, contest yeah. because uh, what is uh, what will happen to you? Everyone knows. Yeah, you are going right. to lose. The good thing right. is Zulum didn't take anything for, for granted. granted. No, yeah. he's even the first courage, person. Even his mm. courage. It was attack about tries or something. Yes. Yeah. Even his courage in moving to. No, they had Bolata to beg him at a point that look, some of these places you can go by air, you can take a helicopter, because. They may not succeed in killing you, but they will kill your policemen. You know how many yeah, policemen yeah, we've lost yeah. mm. to those boys. So that was why, okay, he became even more um, careful. Mm. And then some places he will go with helicopter, the Air Force will accompany his work. Who is the first governor, the yeah. first serving governor to win the Zeke Prize. Okay. Yes. Yeah. The first first time governor to win the Zeke Prize, which means that the work he did during his first term, was already sufficient to win such a coveted mm. prize. I, I, I remember that the vice president-elect said he thanked God for having picked him. Oh, yeah. To succeed him. Yes. Mm. Are you, and, uh, you know, Kasim Fetima is a very wise man. He calls him my leader. Okay. You know, somebody was his commissioner. He calls mm. him my leader. So that way, both of them, they have mutual respect and no quarrel will come between them. That's it. So that is, uh, I'm happy for him. And even in this acceptance, he said, I may have offended some of you. Forgive me. Because you can't be that hardworking. Yeah. You can't get up 7 a.m., going to offices to be sure that people didn't go late, come to work late and not offend some people. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. We must apply the brakes here. But let me say, it gives me some, gives me some comfort to know that whatever happens in my country today, the sun will rise tomorrow. I want to thank... Uh, uh, you have seen 99. Zebudai are saying don't see 99. So waiting be 100. Who will be 100? <laughs> um, uh, Mayor, thanks for coming. Thank Enjoy you. your weekend thank and you. your cash. Mm. Thank you. Okay. Yes, he's still lining his pocket. Oh, it. come on, come on. Uh, <laughs> Gide, many thanks for... Thanks, you. All right. Uh, we, we are here on Sunday, but... If you missed any part of this program, join us later tonight at 11 for our repeat broadcast. And as I said, on Sunday from 1.30 to 3.30, there's an expanded two-hour show for you. And we'll continue the countdown of states won by the APC, the PDP, the NNPP, and the LP. And so on behalf of the Backroom Boys, this is your sincerely Citizen Jones saying bye-bye now. <laughs>